Hello, 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 hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's well and healthy. Today I went, actually, I wanted to go to this place. It's been almost a year they opened here in Edmonton. Uh, actually in St. Albert. It's, the town is called St. Albert. It's close to Edmonton, the north side of El Edmonton. So I'm running this uh, Facebook uh, Edmonton Knitting and Crochet group, and uh, I'm the I'm the team leader. I guess is that what you call it, Edmund? And people were asking, is there a yarn shop on the north side of Edmonton? So I wanted to check this out. Uh, actually, I was looking for circular knitting needles, sock knitting needles, and so on. Oops, I did it again. I did post a video about the store. I will put the link. I will pin it and you can look at it. So I ended up buying yarn. <laughs> look at this. Oh my God. $230. I can't believe what I did. But the colors were the, these three yarn that I bought, these are all, uh, the three of them are indie dyers here from uh, Edmonton, I believe. They're local. Well, I'm supporting them, right? That's another thing. But the colors I've been drooling for years, <laughs> I ended up buying. So I'm going to knit something and I will do the tutorial. And I did end up buying other yarns. So it's called Lang. That's the brand. And I am going to open the bag and share you what I bought. Okay. <laughs> okay, this year, 23, I wasn't supposed to buy yarn. That's why I do not go to yarn stores here. Uh, I can't hold myself. Okay. Ta-da. Can you see? Okay. This is the first one I grabbed. and I And I asked... Uh, Linda, is do you guys have service to cake them? And she said yes, because I do have uh, I have those two tools, but I don't have room here to cake them. So she said yes, and uh, this is one ply. Okay, this is the label. I took it off. Single ply, superwash merino wool. It's called Puzzle Tree Yarns. It's it's a dream to work with. Okay, remember I was knitting this sock. This is the same yarn, but this was like way thinner, just to point out. And I paid twenty seven Canadian dollars from Vancouver. I'm just thinking, is it the same place? That's another thing, because this is made in Vancouver as well. See, it says Vancouver, British Columbia. I have a feeling it's the same person who dyed this yarn. Okay, I paid $29 plus GST on top of this. And it's called Puzzle Tree Yarn Single Ply Worsted Candy Hearts. Okay, I just love the speckles. So I'm going to make a hat with this, so stay tuned for the tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm going to start that right away as actually. So stay tuned. I have a particular pattern I'm working on and I'm going to share it with you. I'm designing socks, hat, and a sweater. Yeah, why not a sweater? We can make a sweater. Definitely that would work. Okay, let's go back to the yarn. Okay, so it's 100% superwash merino wool. 115 gram. I thought it was 100. Okay, definitely. This would be perfect for a hat. And then uh, it's uh, suggesting 4.5 or 5.5 millimeter knitting needle dyed in Vancouver, BC. I bet it's the same dyer, indie dyer. It's called Puzzle trees yarn you know what I'm going to I bought this from Etsy so uh, I'm gonna check it out okay I checked that was called Ocean Park yarns 
South Surrey, British Columbia. I thought, you know, you think about it because the Vancouver, uh, it's one of the places in BC cities, Surrey. Okay, the next, I grabbed this one. And I do, if you look at the yarn, uh, the video, it was a hank that I grabbed. Okay. And the tags are here. Okay. This was dragon strings. Okay, this is what it is. And it is 80% superwash merino wool and 20% nylon. And I uh, can't see the tag. I think I dropped something there. It should be on the receipt. Can you see the colors? Oh my goodness. So I paid $34. It's a sport fingering. So I'm going to knit myself socks out of this yarn. Okay, here it is. $34 Canadian plus GST on top of it. Okay. This is, oh, it's in, oh, this is the yarn store. I thought it was giving me information. This is the yarn store. Okay. Not much information, so you need to go to this link. Okay, I don't want to pay shipping. I would prefer to buy it at uh, at a yarn shop, right? And I, I touched it. I felt it. It's really beautiful. Okay, I can't wait. I'm planning to make socks with this. So stay tuned on one of my live streams that I post on the 27th of each month. I will show you the finished look. And I also post pictures on my uh, Instagram page. Okay, the third one was this. And I... Uh, this reminds me of Christmas, of course, but I really love the green and the reds here, the pinkish colors. It, it, I think this is called the vintage Christmas colors, and it was in a skein again and in a hank. So I do. If you go back to the video, you can see it. Okay, oh, I'm not quite sure. I uh, thirty-two dollars I paid. For this in its fingering weight sock yarn yeah it's pretty thin yeah it's thinner this is the thinnest one I usually don't pick the thin yarn but I just fell in love with the color because this color is really rare to find so when I found it I just grabbed it because I really like this and I'm just wondering how the color is how the color uh, way when you knit it up right how it's gonna look right so it's 80 percent marina nylon it's 20 percent it's 100 gram and it's giving me all the information here okay, i'm not going to go over it because the video will take forever ever and ever <laughs> oh, okay i love checking clearance okay i went to look i didn't go to buy yarn but i was interested in the knitting needles Okay, so as soon as, where, the, where are those? This is my favorite color. As soon as I saw this color, I said, I grabbed two of, the, two of them so I can knit myself a sock. Okay, and then I read the word cashmere and merino. I said, no, and it says for baby, so it's soft. Well, I'm not going to knit baby items. I don't sell baby items on my Etsy shop. I, I do have couple they never sell if someone buys them there there are baby items as well but uh it's really rare that i sell baby items so i'm not gonna knit baby items so this one has 55 percent wool in it 33 percent acrylic and 12 percent uh 12 percent cashmere so that cashmere is usually it's five percent cashmere, but when I saw the twelve, I said, "Oh my god, oh my god!" I said, "I'm gonna go and grab a bag from my car," and which I did. It's a fifty gram, so with one hundred gram, you can knit socks, you can knit a hat. That's what I thought, right? And uh, I do have in the video. It was like a baby crib. It was full of this yarn. 
And then it gives you these information, which I love, love. Look at it. It says ten, for 10-year-old, you need 300 grams to knit a garment. For women, you need 300, 450 grams. For men, you need 600, right? The yarn is not that thin, if you look at it. And it doesn't give you much information about the yarn. But when I'm looking at it, it is like a light three weight, not a four. I would say a three weight. So I can knit this with a four millimeter knitting needle. And I'm looking, but it's not giving me any information. I don't know what these mean. I guess these are a swatch. I don't know. But uh, the way I'm looking at the yarn with my experience, I can even go away knitting with a three. If I'm going to knit socks with a three, I would knit. But with a garment, with a four, definitely. So a hat or a, or, or a um, what you call it, a, a, a socks I can knit. Okay, and then she had also two of these. I said again, I can knit a hat and I can knit. It's the same yarn, uh, same information. I'm not going to go over it. That's 12% cashmere. So I said again, I can knit hat or socks. Perfect. And then she had a couple of these. I said, ooh, this is nice. Look at it. So I believe she had four. Uh, I believe, yeah, she had four of this. So there's 200 gram here. Isn't this fantastic? I can knit, I don't know, something bigger. So I need to think about it. <laughs> think, think, think. I'll put these here. Okay, and then she had this color. Look at this color. Isn't this gorgeous? It's like a rose. It's like a, I don't, like a camel. Not a camel. It has more pink in it. Uh, I'm looking at the screen while I'm taping this, but uh, definitely there's more pink in it. So it's like a rose. I would say like a vintage rose maybe. Yeah. So uh, I grabbed everything there. And I'm just checking. I'll put it here. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So 400 gram. I can even knit myself a sweater if I make a lacy, uh, a lace, I don't know, with a lace pattern. I'm thinking that's uh, making me think why not right let me just pull these a little bit so you guys can see maybe put this there put this there because it's not fitting the screen Yeah, it looks like a lot of the yarn. And for all of this yarn, it's pretty expensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's $230 in Canadian. That's $10.99 tax, 5% tax. See, that's another thing. When you order online, when you order something out of Canada, we pay custom fee. Anything we pay $20 and over. So I only paid ten dollars and ninety nine cents. With my experience, with my luck, I always end up paying twenty dollars and over, even if I spend twenty dollars. So if I paid this amount, two hundred and thirty dollars, because they usually write it on the label, right? How much the, it's worth. So I would end up paying, I would bet I would have paid over $100, $108 custom fee. So that's another story. So that's why I do not like ordering online. With my luck, that's how I've been paying all these years. So uh, we, we ha I always think about this now. If I'm going to buy yarn, I have to think, right? Because um, I don't want to pay more than I should be paying for tax this is $10.99. I'm happy with this. No problem at all. I have to pay that. But other than that, I just want to let you know. Yeah. 
instead of ordering online, you can order in Canada. That's no problem. You pay uh, shipping. You won't be charged for custom. But if you order anything from uh, out of Canada, you pay custom fee. So I would highly recommend to support your local yarn shops if you want to buy good quality yarn. For acrylic, uh, the store also had acrylic yarn. I'm not going to go and pay so much money for acrylic because I can go to Michaels or Walmart. I can go to Michaels with a 30% off coupon. It's my opinion and uh, I'm going to stick with that. Just want to point out. But if you live on the north side of Edmonton, I would highly recommend this place. Check it out. Because uh, they, she said the owner, I met the owner as well. She said they opened on April. I was there for two hours from 10 a.m. Uh, pardon me they opened at 11 a.m and then i was there just just an hour it was just two hours later i i left the building <laughs> yeah, i left the building so i was there almost two hours and uh i had a bad time with my uh, camera the battery died and i lost so much parts so you only have 12 minutes of the video that i have taped unfortunately but what can you do so this is the address so when you drive to st albert don't go just drive to the sir churchill street and then drive i would say uh i think that's the the west west of st albert if you drive west of st albert you can find this place because it's a little bit tricky i had a hard time finding it and um, it's a new building, so the navigation wasn't showing on my system. And they also have um, get-togethers on Sundays and Thursdays. See, I don't have the car these hours, these days. If, if I did, I would, I'd have, I would have went for knitting. So they have stitch and gather, and it's a walk-in. Everyone can come and go and join. Yeah. 12 to 4. That's fantastic. Yeah, my husband works. He leaves the house after 12, so I can't go, unfortunately. But if I had the car... Oh, here's the map. Okay, this is what I'm saying. This is the Sir Churchill Avenue when you drive from Edmonton. We drive this way. And it's actually very easy to... F uh, yeah, the way I'm holding it, I'm a little bit confused. Where's the river? Yeah, so we're driving driving this way, I believe. It's a little bit tricky, but it's, uh, you don't go all the way down. You go uh, very close, actually. Yeah, just ask, call them, and get some uh, information. Because I had, I didn't call. I said, I'll, if I find it, I'll find it. If I not, I was just about to leave, and I found the building. It's, it's on the corner, uh, like the store is on a corner. It's beautiful. It's huge. It's open. So, uh, yeah. So I hope uh, if you uh, live in the north side of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, I do have uh, a couple of subscribers. And people are coming and joining my group. <laughs> That's another funny thing because I'm not promoting the group. And it's growing super fast on Facebook, Edmonton Knitting and Crocheting Group. Yeah. Okay, so I hope uh, this information will help if you live on the north side of Edmonton. Because there's lots of yarn shops in the south side. Which I, I'm, I don't know. You never know. Maybe I will just swing by. Yeah, so for all this yarn, it's pretty expensive, but uh, they're good quality yarn, especially the cashmere. So I'm planning to knit myself a vest. I don't know. We'll see if I have enough uh, yarn to knit the sleeves. I will do that, but uh, yeah, this is going to be for my future project. But at the moment, I'm going to start the hat and I'm going to knit socks and... Uh, yeah, so I hope you like this video. I just wanted to share what I have been up to. I I swear that I wouldn't buy yarn for 2023, 
but you never know what will happen tomorrow, right? That's another thing. Uh, and uh, I was feeling a bit down. And uh, when I went to the yarn shop after spending all this money, I felt so good. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know you feel good. <laughs> when you, when you feel good, because I've been drooling for this yarn for over two years. Uh, I saw this, I think in 2018, it's over two years actually, uh, where I was at the uh, yarn, uh, cra uh, yarn craft sale. I even have that video on YouTube. And I saw this color. I did it. It had grays and all these beautiful bright colors and uh, I, I didn't buy. I bought other yarn. But uh, I, but I grabbed the this time, I grabbed this one because I fell in love. You know, you don't forget these colors when you like it. You just need to have them. That's another thing. And uh, yeah, so uh, support your local yarn shops. That's all I'm going to say. It's way better than paying custom fee for if you live in Canada. Okay, I hope you like this video. I just wanted to share what I've been up to. And I feel so good after spending all this money for all this yarn. I know I have more yarn everywhere, but this good quality is really hard to find. And like I said, cashmere is uh, like it, this is a dream. It's it's so feels so good. That's all I am going to say. The feeling is totally different. It's not scratchy. It's nice and smooth. It's buttery. Like when you touch acrylic and when you touch this, it's totally different. Yeah, that feeling is, uh, it's really hard to explain. You need to touch it and feel it and smell it. <laughs> so you guys take care and I'll see you on my next tutorial. So the tutorial that I'm going to be making, uh, it's coming up next. I just, maybe tomorrow I'll tape it. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit tired. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. I'm going to be making a hat with this gorgeous yarn. And I'll see you on that tutorial. Happy knitting, happy crocheting. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, and don't forget to hit that notification button. Oh, and then if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And hit that notification button. So uh, when I post a new video, you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch. Bye-bye.